Hi, this is Kevin McMullen of AuthenticGolf.net and author of A Blueprint for Golf Excellence. What I want to talk to you today, uh, talk to you about today, is the role that the trail list, or for right-handed golfers, the right wrist plays in a great golf swing. If you have, if you have my book, A Blueprint for Golf Excellence, or if you've seen any of my internet posts, you know that a lot of the drills and exercises are designed to ingrain and teach a leading with the lower body and a lagging of the club head to incorporate or facilitate a hand-to-head late release of the golf club instead of a armsing early release type of action. Okay? The exercises are very good, but all of the antagonism, all of the compound muscle antagonism and creation of the opposing focus, for, forces focuses on maintaining this angle with maximum pressure, which you need to do. But what I realized by watching some videos, some tour pros, and comparing that to myself is that most tour pros, and especially the longer hitters, like Bubba Watson, Dustin Johnson, and of course the maniac Jamie Sadlowski, through the impact zone, they exhibit much more trail wrist bend than I do and most of their peers. And so I began to wonder why, after working so long in the programs, I didn't have more. And the answer is simple. My exercises really don't teach it. In fact, when you're using a weighted club, the exercises, if you're not careful, will actually encourage a straightening of the lead wrist due to the weight of the club. So I began to think about how I could improve this aspect. And I saw a video of Jamie Sidlowski at the 2011 PGA show where he was talking about the key components for distance. And the first thing he says before he starts a swing demonstration is the importance of supple wrist. And then what he went, did was he proceeded to hit some cross-handed six irons. And you can see why we're having this little video made now. I instantly realized there's an exercise that uh, I can do using um, isometric holds and stretches to improve the suppleness and flexibility of my trail wrist. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this exercise real simply. And I'm gonna show you an experiment that you can perform for yourself to prove the value of having more trail wrist flexion or bent uh, through the impact zone. So first the exercise. All you do is, is take your normal golf stance, but the trail hand moves to the top of the club. Then like in my exercise imprint, you move back to take away your elbow tucked in and reach around and grab the club about 8 to 12 inches above the grip end. Now exert maximum pressure in a pulling fashion, pushing with your trail hand and pulling with your lead hand. and swing to the top. Hold it. Make your vital move. Rotate the hips, shoulders. Release. 
you'll feel a stretch in these ligaments in your fingers and it will be very hard when you first do it it's hard for me still to keep the heel pad in connection with the club grip but as you do this over time the flexibility and the strength of your trail wrist will improve. You don't want to do this at high speed. You just want to use a stretching type of action under maximum tension. We're just looking to increase the flexibility. Okay, so you practice that. Now for the exercise. What you need is a swing speed meter. And in my case, I'm using one that can be attached to the end of the club. It's a, it's one, it's a $49 deal, it's pretty nice. It's the swing uh, speed meter by Medicus. 49 bucks, you can buy it off the internet. I bought mine at amazon.com. And what you do is you enter in the uh, club height or club length and the player height, and then when you swing, it records your club head speed. 64.9, okay? So what you do for this drill to prove how valuable this trail wrist is, is I'm gonna go ahead and, and take my golf position. And I'm gonna swing to the nine o'clock stop, and I'm gonna hold it there, but I'm not going to flex my trail wrist. I'm just gonna swing to the top, and hold it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make a good golf swing from here by making my lower body move first and just swing down and make a good golf swing. And I'm gonna note my speed. So let's try one with no wrist hinge, with no trail wrist hinge. Swing to the top. 76, let's do another. Nine o'clock stop. You can swing as hard as you want. The idea is just to, we're just trying to learn the difference between making two actions. Okay. Now, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same drill. Swing to the nine o'clock stop. But this time I'm gonna flex my trail wrist back and hold it. And now I'm gonna make the same swing. And I wanna keep this flexion or focus as I swing on keeping this trail wrist bent through the impact zone. You won't be able to, it'll release, but you, that's what the focus you wanna have. So then I'm just gonna be nine o'clock stop. Swing through, 91. A lot of players would take that swing speed for a five iron, wouldn't they? Try it again. Nine o'clock stop, bend the trail wrist, swing, 94. So obviously then, by making the same action through the ball, but having a trail wrist flexion or a trail wrist bending back, I've added a lot of club head speed, but I'm not swinging any harder. If you don't understand how valuable that can be, uh, then the game's probably not for you. <laughs> uh, that, that's a tremendous value, okay? So now I'll hit a real shot. doing the same thing. First, no flex. Seventy seven. And now with the trail wrist bent back. Okay, so by keeping the trail wrist flex coming down through the in, to the impact zone, the hands stay more ahead of the ball at impact. 
So if you'll do that, over time, the flexibility, the strength of your trail wrist will improve and will improve your impact position a lot. Increase your consistency and teach you how to make a functional, effective, an efficient swing without a lot of wasted motion. Let's see it one more time. A little fat, 97.3. Again, I'm Kevin McMullen, author of the Authentic Golf Book, A Blueprint for Golf Excellence. I hope you enjoyed this exercise. It'll help you improve that action, and you can prove to yourself why you want to work on that. Enjoy the season.